Hello, everyone. Apologies for our absence last month. There have been some extenuating circumstances that have demanded our attention, and I'm not going to waste any time, so we're just going to get right into it. Last month, I, Isaac Muir, had my Discord account hacked and stolen. As those of you who are in the Discord community for Hexahedron, you probably noticed all Discord servers that this account of mine had administrative access to were appropriated. And this also included our internal development server and several other servers that were used to coordinate community events. The hacker quickly kicked any users who pointed out what had happened and eventually either moved everyone from the servers or simply deleted them outright. And we frankly still don't know. The hacker demanded a monetary ransom that we frankly couldn't afford to pay. And additionally, there was no way to guarantee that they wouldn't simply take the money and run anyway. Discord's support team was unable to assist us uh, because my personal email account had also been temporarily compromised at the same time in, in the hack. Ultimately, I decided that trying to get that original account back was a lost cause due to just a ton of miscommunication on Discord's part and eventually realizing uh, from people who were affected by this hack that I would be very unlikely to gain back those servers again. And even if I were somehow to be able to, I would question the security of them anyway. To be clear, none of our game files, source files, or development documents were lost. Everything that we have, all of our files are safely backed up across multiple locations and the hack only directly impacted our Discord servers. As you can imagine, this has been an incredibly stressful and disheartening time for us and I personally have felt very violated as a result of this. I lost many conversations with friends and a lot of my own personal projects that had yet to be revealed and some things that didn't have some backups anywhere else, I was unable to recover. I will likely never see some of those things again, and I've just been coming to terms with that, and that's been a very emotionally frustrating thing for me as of late. Much of the last month and a half has been spent rebuilding what we can, as well as instituting multiple layers of additional security features for ourselves to prevent any kind of thing from this happening again at the best way that we can mitigate it. We certainly don't want this to impact any of our members in the future. And this has taken up a lot of time that we would much rather be devoting toward game development, and it has uh, exhausted us, and we are just emotionally charged right now, and, and it's hard getting back into the swing of creating right now, and so we're, we're trying to ease our way back into that. So at this time, we'd like to announce the new community server that we've made that should never befall the same fate as the previous. With that, we'd also like to update you all to some new progress that we teased in May's Patreon post, uh, which is that the Colony Tabletop RPG, the main project that we've been working on for Colony, has had a mechanical breakthrough which also allows it to be a war game right out the box. So you have tabletop RPG, it's going to be a war game, and it's a deck building game, all mixed into one. And you can play it in three different formats. It's going to be really, really, really cool. We're really excited to show you guys what we've been doing with it. And with that in mind, we have been prototyping and 3D printing new game tokens to begin playtesting this new iteration of the game. And we're hopefully going to be doing that soon, and we'll have updates on that in the near future. We are so grateful to our old followers who have stuck with us on this journey, and welcome the newcomers that we have been seeing lately. It's been really astounding that even in our unfortunate absence, we have gained nearly 100 new subscribers to our YouTube channel, and it is a joy to see our work spreading and being enjoyed by new and fresh people every single day. It is incredible. And we hope to have something new to share very soon, uh, especially with the now long late lore video that we had hoped to have completed at the end of 2022. Uh, until then, we have released an unfinished version 
of the first movement in the Song of Origins and hope to have the rest of it out in due time. Thank you all so much for taking the time to tune into this update. We hope to have something new for you all very soon, and we hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.